Good evening. Before it gets too dark, I figured we should tell you what's going on. Yep, so in our previous video, we alluded to the fact that there was going to be a pretty epic bus journey ahead to take us out of Croatia and get us all the way to Turkey. We initially looked at just getting flights, but with the dates and timings, then it wasn't going to work out because we'd have had to stay in Croatia for either too short a time or way too long a time. And also it was very expensive. So we were looking for alternatives. We had a look at the wonderful website that is Rome to Rio in order to get some inspiration. And the best thing that they could come up with was a 28 hour crazy ride on two different buses in order to get there. And so because we were feeling adventurous, we decided to go for it. So with that, here we are in Dubrovnik this evening. From there, we are getting one bus, which is going to take us through multiple border crossings. So we are going to go from Croatia through Montenegro, Albania, and then into North Macedonia, as it is now called, to a place called Tetovo, which is just outside Skopje, which is the Macedonian capital. And then from there, we have hopefully about a four and a half hour layover before we then get our next bus, which then takes us from North Macedonia through Greece into Turkey and finally arriving in Istanbul in the small hours two days from now. Now, we have never taken a bus journey this long. I think the longest bus journey we've done so far is six hours. Yep. So doing 12 hours overnight tonight from 11 p.m. is when we leave Dubrovnik and we arrive in Tetova at 11 a.m. That's gonna be new for us and we have no idea how we're gonna feel. How are we gonna react emotionally, mentally, physically? Are, are we, we going to sleep? How sore are our bodies gonna be from being in a seated position? Are we gonna be very hangry or just short with each other because we're so exhausted? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I mean, I'm thankful that we'll get to stretch our legs in Tetova before we have to do another 12 hour journey again, or maybe it's a bit longer because I think it's from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. But basically we figured that we would document the process so you can see what it's like and decide if you want to take a long bus journey and save some money or if it's not worth it to you. And we'll let you know how we feel at the end. Board. Yes, and I'm also trying to get the energy out so I actually feel like sleeping on this overnight bus because I just don't think it's going to be comfortable in the least. So anything I can do to get myself exhausted is something I'm willing to try. How about you? How are you doing? I'm also bored, but unlike you, I'm just like chilling. We got kicked out of the waiting area because they close at 10, but our bus doesn't leave till 11. Actually, we got kicked out of the waiting area like five to ten minutes before ten when they tried to lock the doors while we were still in there because they didn't realize we were in there. Yeah, that was nice of them. But yeah, as things stand, we still have 45 minutes to wait until the bus departs. So it's going to be a fun 45 minutes. Okay, so we just had to get off the bus and show our passports. They got stamped and then we walked across the border and we've got back on the bus. So I think that means we're now in Montenegro. So it turns out what we thought was the border crossing it wasn't a border crossing, it was just leaving Croatia. We've now just gone past the actual border crossing and are officially in Montenegro. So that's fun. Hopefully we can get some sleep now. I think we're crossing into Albania now because they just came around and they want to go back to their passports. Well, it 
it's probably about 7.30 right now, and we are currently going through Armenia, and it turns out it's kind of nice around here. We are currently at a rest stop in Albania, but we thought we would summarize our experience so far. <laughs> Yeah, so everything went pretty smoothly when we were in Croatia. The bus arrived like way ahead of time. We boarded, there seemed to be any problem from that. So we decided to try and see if we can get a little bit of rest in. So we started leaving and the bus set off at about 11 ish. And then about an hour later, we were woken up and we were at some sort of checkpoint or border crossing seemingly. That was going into Montenegro. Yep. So we all filed off the bus and they checked our passports and then you walk through and then the bus pulls through and then we just had to wait for like an hour or an hour and a half and no explanation. Yeah, the bus just sat there. That, that was it with us on it. It was really weird. Yep. After that, when we finally started going, we thought, okay, we're on the move. And then like two minutes later, we were at another seemingly border crossing and we had to get off, show our passports, walk through. Then the bus came through and yep. then we got back on. But this time the bus did set off. So I feel like maybe it was like some kind of neutral zone or something like that between the Croatian border and the Montenegro border. But like the second time we went through that, we were actually and then I'd say like maybe two hours later, we yep. arrived to the Albanian border. And there we didn't get off the bus at all. The passports got collected, they took them, they stamped them, they brought them back. And then we've been traveling through Albania ever since. Yep. We did stop in the capital, Tirana. Uh, and about three quarters of the bus ended up just getting off. So as a result, we just had to a lot more space to ourselves, which has been lovely because we've spent a few minutes at Yeah, I feel like it wasn't so bad. I actually dozed probably from the time we got on the bus at 11 until like 6.30 this morning. Not good quality sleep, but I've dozed on and off, so I don't feel too bad right now. Same, I could feel a lot worse, but at the same time it would have been nice to have had completely uninterrupted night sleep, but you know. In situations like this, then means mass, I suppose. But I think the thing that's taken me in this bus is just how nice the sun is. Yeah, it's nice that it's daylight and we're able to look out the window now. So we are going to continue through Albania once we're all back on the bus and then into North Macedonia. <laughs> give them our passports and walk through. But we're officially in North Macedonia now. We have officially arrived in Tetovo, North Macedonia. How you feeling, bubs? Pretty bushed. Still coming down from feeling slightly carsick because there were a lot of winding mountain roads and they were especially bumpy. But relieved to be here and excited to get 
my first coffee of the day, which is definitely overdue. I too am feeling absolutely exhausted. It started to really hit me on the last hour of that bus ride and the car sickness really affected me too, which I've never experienced, but I'm also excited for coffee. So let's get going. Well, after having that coffee, I think we both feel a little bit more alive. Most definitely, but there is still one piece missing in the puzzle, which is to eat, because we still haven't since breakfast yet. So we're gonna rectify that right now, and then hopefully the bus should be long within the next half an hour. So the information first is good. And this time we're going on a different company. It's called Alpar Istanbul. And you told me we have a few border crossings. Uh, yeah, so based on what I've read, and I think we are going across Macedonia into Greece and then onto Turkey, so yeah. We'll keep you updated. We've made it to Bulgaria. We originally thought this was Greek, but turns out we're crossing the border here. saw us playing with dogs it really wasn't that far until Bulgarian Turkish border for some reason we seemed to have to wait to get out of Bulgaria like there were really long time yeah there were two buses in front of us and we just sat there but then that was easy we walked through passport control mm -hmm. and then when we got to the Turkish side we actually had to get off the bus and take all of our bags so the bus was completely empty and devoid of luggage and we had to go through passport control and go through an x-ray machine. And then we loaded our stuff back up on the bus. Yep. And that was it until we got to the bus station in Turkey. I think that happened at like three in the morning. So we were absolutely exhausted and just trying to doze and sleep on the bus. Yep, but now we are officially at our hotel room in Istanbul. So our Turkish party adventure officially begins. Yeah, it's huge here. Yeah. And you did a really good job of navigating us here because the bus station that we arrived at was kind of far out of the city. So yeah. then we took a metro and then just walked a little bit. But actually, it seems like it's a pretty good location. It was an easy walk. Yeah, it seems pretty decent. And it seems to be like for a absolutely huge city, it seems to be pretty well connected as well. So looking forward to exploring the rest of it. Yeah, so what do you think of bus travel? Would you do a night again? Was two nights okay? What do you think of it all? I mean, we've already got a few lined up in terms of overnights. So we have no choice. Yes, but one every now and then, I think I could deal with two in a row. We felt pretty brutal. Um, like mentally or on your body or what? Bit of both, yeah. Um, like, you know that kind of plane sensation when your feet swell up and you get gigantic cankles? I basically had that for at least the last 24 hours and it's not been pleasant. Um, and so, yeah, like for this first day, then also just going to be completely running on fumes. So, um, yeah. Cold. Yeah. And I feel like we purposely dehydrated ourselves so that we wouldn't have to go to the washroom as much. Yeah, because often it's paid washrooms all over the place as well. So that didn't really help things. So I think I would do it again, like not 
every night or anything like that. But like if someone told me, oh, in two weeks time when you're done with Turkey, you have to take a two day bus to Jordan, which P.S. we're not doing that. But I think that I could do it. Like it was not easy on sleep. But then again, I also was able to doze way better than I expected. Me too. And okay, my bum would occasionally go numb or like I'd be moving around a little bit. But I think that I had very low expectations going into it. So for me, it wasn't as bad as it seemed. Yeah. Anyway, what would you do? Mm-hmm. Would you take a bus for 48 hours to get between countries if it would save you a lot of money and be on the dates that you wanted it to be? <laughs> Feel free to comment on our videos below. We're going to take a little bit of a break before we then officially start exploring Istanbul, which will be coming up in another video. So until the next time, take care. And keep smiling.